But you guys have a good uh, week. Anyone, where should I stand? I'm gonna stand like right here behind you guys. All right, let's do that, that's easier. So today, we have from Psalm 72, verses 18 and 19, and it states, Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord that goes, sorry, hang on, I got this one. Okay, blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous things, blessed be his glorious name, forever may his glory shine throughout the earth. So, what glorious things are you thankful for? Good, that's a very good answer, your mom and dad, go ahead. Good, shelter, food, and water, that's always good. What? God, of course, absolutely, go ahead. Okay, that's good. Plants, that's right. Go ahead. We need them to breathe. Exactly, absolutely. So that's good. I'm going to talk about that. We are thankful because we have breath. God gave us breath. Go ahead. Well, you have your hand up first. Go ahead. Um, my friends. Okay, absolutely. Your friends, your family. Go ahead. Huh? Okay, well, good. Friends. All right, so that's excellent. Go ahead. Uh, we're getting a lot of answers today. Everyone's very <laughs> responsive. So thank you. I appreciate it. Go ahead, Gabby. God and my mom and dad. Perfect. All right. So God and your mom and dad. And for all of us here, our brothers and, our brothers and sisters, our, you know, pastor, the pastor's family, our choir, we have so many wonderful things to be uh, thankful for. But what we are especially talking about was God and breath, the breath of life. Okay. So life was breathed into us. And so God is closer than the air we breathe. Did you guys know that? Very good. Very good. So God is always closer than the air we breathe. What other wonderful things can we be thankful for in the new year? Go ahead. Um, snow. Snow. Okay, well, good. It hasn't snowed yet, but I'm sure it will. All right, go ahead. Our pets. Our pets, all right. Cousins and family. What? Okay, go ahead. Okay, well, good. Santa, that's right. All right, well, good. Okay. So you have, you have to be good. You can't be naughty, right? You got to be good. All right. It's cool. We're halfway done. I'm sorry. Just got a lot of stuff written down here. All right. So obviously, you know, this year has brought wonderful things to me as well. Um, for some of you who know or do not know, I had a lot of dental work done in uh, September. And so I had a lot of dental pain. I had to miss a lot of work. Uh, but in that, it was a blessing in disguise because really it wasn't a job where I was happy at. So from that, God used the situations and what was meant for harm, what was meant for evil, was turned around and made for good. So I've actually been um, hired and I start a new job on Wednesday this week, which is going to pay me well. And it's a hybrid role. I'll be working from home some days and then I'll be going into the office. And we actually checked out the location of the building yesterday. It's at Tyson's. It's gorgeous. So I ask that you please keep me in your prayers for that. Go ahead, Stephen. You have a question? Wait, so does that mean you're not going to be here anymore? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm going to be here. I'm not going anywhere. So, yes. All right. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. So, yeah. So that's just what we have to be thankful for. We've got to be thankful for God. We've got to be thankful for the future. We've got to be thankful for baby Jesus. So have an attitude of gratitude going into the new year. Instead of, you know, we all have hard days. We all have days when we wake up and we're like, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I have to go to school today and, you know, do the hustle and bustle, the mundane thing. But you know what? We have God's breath. We have life. And so we have food and we have clothing and we have shelter and we have our pets. And we have siblings and we have each other as a whole community. So just be thankful and be mindful of that. And just remember, God gives us each other. So God gives us prayer. That's a wonderful, wonderful gift. Do you know here by coming to church right there, that's a blessing? Because you're blessing God, but you're also blessing yourself. So I want you guys to think about that throughout the week. Be good to one another. Be kind. And I have a little treat for you guys here. Okay, so it's a little devotional. Um, it's got... Eight days worth of material for you. So I would like for you guys to do this with your parents if you're able, either in the morning before school or at night before you guys have your prayers and you go to bed. And maybe next month we can talk about what you guys did. How about that? If I can open it. Thank you for you, Emma. For you, Lily. Here I can take that. Awesome. Thank you for you. Take one down, pass it around. One more devotional to go. Okay, come on. <laughs> exactly. All right, there you go, Gabby. 
So wait, wait, we're almost done. Here we go. Here, one three. Do I have to write stuff in there? Well, yeah, exactly. So if you open it up, it has activities. Look, it has like crossword puzzles. It has um, searches. Um, it's got like little verses that can help you throughout your day and throughout your scripture reading. I know, but listen, so you guys got to do me the favor. No cheating, okay? So only one activity per day. So for the next eight days, exactly. But it's really good. So I looked through it last night, and it's got some really cool stuff, some good subject matter, some good material. And so I just want you to be thankful for that. And finally, I want to wrap up, because we're going on a little too long. we got to get going with the service. Starting this month, what I want to do is teach you guys a song, okay? So um, I was talking about this with Kim the other day. Stephen, you're bumping into the mic. That's okay. <laughs> so there's a song that we used to sing at a church where I went to when I was a teenager called Jesus Loves the Little Children. Okay? <laughs> no, it's okay. So each month we're going to like learn a new song and whatnot. You know, I don't expect you guys to know it, but at least to get us into that habit, right? So um, it goes, Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world sing along with me, you know. Red, yellow, black, or white, they are precious in his sight. <laughs> Jesus loves the little children of the world. All right, cool. Let's look up and say a prayer. All right. Thanks for all your patience. You got to come on. All right. I like your patience. All right. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for this day. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts you continue giving us. Thank you for breath. And thank you for baby Jesus. Thank you for Christ child. And may we always be good to you. And kind to our families. And kind to ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Be good, you guys. Bless the